In this video, we will show how to create comprehensive formulas and how to use all the possibilities of the calculation and optimization engine. Let's start by clicking on formulas. Add new formula, code A200, start with the version number one, the name is advanced formula, and the type is formula. Animal group, for example, aqua. Formula batch size, for example, if our plant is configured as 1,000 kilos as batch size, we can override this with 2,000 kilos. Our carrier will be, for example, corn. And our formula feed type will be compound feed. We will add some raw materials like oats, wheat, corn, barley. We will choose some fish meal. And let's add something sweet. For example, soybean meal. And those are our raw materials. Next, we will add some basic nutrients, dry matter, crude protein, fat, crude fiber, ash, some amino acids, and that is enough for now. Now, let's create our raw material ratio. Click on raw material ratios, add new. And let's say I want my oats and corn ratio to be between 0 and 20%. Here is my formula. Then then click OK. Next is our nutrient ratio, for example, calcium. Available phosphorus, minimum one, maximum two. So calcium is between one time available phosphorus and two time available phosphorus. Let's go to group constraints. For example, we want oats, For example, we want oats, wheat, and barley to be between 0 and 40%. We will add all of them, click OK, and here is our formula. So oats, wheat, and barley are between 0 and 40%. Let's apply some additional costs. Bag and print, disperse, some new item, operation and maintenance. We can choose between a summer pattern and a winter pattern and we will load the summer pattern in this case. Also, some properties, we can configure age from and to, sex, weight from and to, disease, body type, sale price, and description. Click OK. Go to dashboard, and here is our advanced formula. I can drag and drop it to some folder, and here is our advanced formula. Oats, wheat, and barley are under a group constraint. Click on formulate and we have a successful optimization. It is easy because we do not have any constraints. Let's start adding some constraints. 95% dry matter, 12% crude protein, 5% fat, 2% fiber, ash maximum 8%, lysine 0.1%, 4% fat, 
threonine 0.1 percent and tryptophan 0.05 percent click on formulate infeasible formula the formula does not have an optimal solution Deep feasibility analysis, or DFA, can identify up to three constraints that cause formula infeasibility. The calculation can take a few seconds. Would you like to run this analysis? Yes. Our deep feasibility analysis says that we cannot have 95% of dry matter out of these raw materials. So let's decrease that to 90. Click on formulate. Again, you cannot have 90, so let's try 85. Click on formulate, and there we go. So we have 88% of dry matter. In totals, we have total cost, unit price, batch price, batch sum, and sum. We can see the total cost is different from batch price. So the total cost is the cost of batch price, which is only raw materials and additional costs. So batch price is the price calculated only by raw materials in the formula, while total cost is batch price plus additional costs. So we can see our results in weight and percent, batch price, Similarly, we have as feed and dry matter based results for nutrients. And we have a few hints. Hint number one, share chart. Share chart gives us the estimation what will happen with raw material share if raw material price changes. Let's see if we have some different results than simply a straight line. Not in this simple formula. Generally saying, if the price decreases, raw material share will stay the same. If the price increases, raw material share will stay the same in this simple formula. In some cases, we can see that share will change as price increases or decreases. In the contribution chart, for instance, for wheat, we can see what we are getting from wheat. We're getting 31.7% or 28 out of 88 of dry matter, 13% or 3.7 out of 27 for crude protein, and so on. Similarly, for nutrients, we also have hints. Distribution chart for crude protein. We can see that most of the crude protein is from fish meal, which is 71%, corn, 9.7% or 2.45 out of 27. We also get some from wheat and oats. We have boundary cost. Boundary cost represents analysis when we hit minimum or maximum values. In this case, we hit a maximum and we will analyze that maximum. If that maximum is currently 8, if we change it to 8.8 .8 .8 and it increases, our formula price will decrease. This is understandable because allowing more ash will decrease the formula price. Similarly, if we increase or decrease this constraint, the formula price will decrease and after 4% it will become infeasible. Now we will do rounding. After successfully executing rounding, this hint indicates that this is a carrier and rounded up saying that wheat is rounded up. The arrow is pointing up and oats are rounded down. The arrow is pointing down. What are the values of these raw materials rounded to? If we open oats, we can see rounding in kilos. This is a rounding coefficient by default. In the raw material configuration, we can configure default rounding. We will save this formula. When we open the formula, we can see that there is also something called 
dependencies or post-optimization dependencies. We will create a post-optimization dependency. This post-optimization dependency is just a simple formula of ASH. These are nutrients in the formula. Crude protein plus fat plus ASH. And we can divide this by 6. This is just a simple formula to show the possibilities of post-optimization coefficients or dependencies. We'll save this, click on formulate, and we see that there is a new nutrient that has a value based on the results of the formula. We had a dependency per raw material which allowed us to calculate a nutrient value based on other nutrients. But here, we can calculate a nutrient based on other nutrients in the formula results. Here, we have a hint indicating that this nutrient has a post-optimization dependency. Here, we can see our nutrient ratio constraints raw material ratio constraints, and group constraints. Once we are satisfied with the formula, we can save it. Or, if we'd like to manually tweak something, for instance, set wheat at 34%, and this can be 30%, then we can use the Calculate button and calculate the nutrient table based on the result column. We can see that we have 104.44%. We will need to tweak it a little more, but we would like to show the functionality of calculation. Clicking on Formulate will give us a least cost optimization, while Calculate uses manually put in results in the Result column or Weight column and calculates nutrients composition based on the given. For instance, we can delete all of this, all these results. Let's say we want 200 kilos of oats, 400 kilos of wheat, 100 kilos of corn, and 300 kilos of fish meal. Then we can click on Calculate from Weight, and these are our results. We have 44% of dry matter, 13% of protein, 2% of fat, and so on. Once we are satisfied, we can save this, or save as a new raw material, existing raw material, or save with incremented version. By doing this, we are improving the formula version. Formula versions are used to indicate that something significant has happened to a formula. When we change a formula by only optimizing it, changing nutrient composition or other minor changes, incrementing a version is not suggested. On the other hand, when there is a significant change, for instance, adding a new raw material, removing some raw material, or changing a crucial constraint, that can be a new version. What does that mean? Later on, if you click on Analytics, History, to check this formula, you can see what the versions are. Under our version number one, we have multiple saves, but they're practically indicating the same formula. But if we change something fundamental, for instance, 15% of crude protein, and we change or add a new raw material, then we can save and increment version. After that, if we go to analytics and history, we can see that there is a new version from now on.
From the analytics side and advanced formulation, we can use formula RMN matrix to analyze and track all nutrients in the formula per all raw materials in the formula. Sometimes when we get strange results, it is up to data. Something is missing, there is a typo or some other error. And this matrix allows us to see all nutrient values and all raw material values in one place in a tabular view. We can filter by raw material or nutrient group or raw material group. For instance, we'd like to see only raw materials for corn. Or some raw material group. We can have a contribution chart and see the contributions in the formula. All the raw materials have a different color and all the nutrients are here. For instance, we can see that 85 or 86% of ash is coming from fish meal, 5% from corn, 6% from wheat, 3% from oats, and so on. From the analytics side, we have batch prices chart, so we can analyze the batch price of each raw material and we can see that out of total batch price, 61% is corn, the second is wheat, 18%, the third is oats, 14%, and fish meal is 6% out of the total formula batch price. Go to Analytics, Formula Cost Analysis, and we can see that our additional costs and costs are raw material costs in the amount of about 10,000, bag and print 4,000, disperse 5, and total for variable cost is 14,680, while fixed cost is 0. Total is 14,782, and we can also add a formula sales price. We can also compare this formula with its previous versions. We can take the previous version and compare our formulas or current version number two and some historical formula. We can see the prices have changed and we can also apply that to all tabs. Raw materials, nutrients, raw material ratios, and so on. So we can check all those values for different versions of the formula or even different formulas. Sometimes it won't make sense, but in some cases it will. So comparing two similar formulas could give us more insight. Here we can see that both formulas have oats, wheat, corn, for which the prices are completely different, 1, 2, and 1, and in this case, 10, 3, and 12. The results are different. Or we can click on Show Single Page Compare if we'd like to see that in a single page format. We can see it like this, and compare everything on a single piece of paper. In terms of actions, there is also extract premix, which will be covered in the next video.